we are back again with a huge new update on vector shift with the new release of bulk jobs which is a new feature that allows you to run multiple ai agents simultaneously with bulk jobs you can now deploy an entire team of agents at once making it perfect for handling larger workflows more efficiently this update is a game changer for productivity as it lets you automate complex tasks in parallel which is going to reduce time spent on repetitive actions for those who are new VectorShift is a no-code AI automation platform that lets you build AI-powered solutions without writing any single code. Its drag-and-drop builder empowers you to create automations, AI search engines, assistants, chatbots, and so much more. It's the perfect tool for automating almost anything. And today, we're going to be diving into how VectorShift's bulk jobs can transform your work by running multiple agents at once. Now, what we're going to be doing is setting up and building a bulk of AI agents using the new feature to help tackle multiple tasks related to financial data. Now, imagine you're working with financial uh, data where you have a bunch of clients who want to learn more about a company that's either going to be pitched or acquired. Now, what you can do is you can deploy a team of agents that can autonomously answer questions like what's the PE ratio and you can get a result of questions being answered in bulk like the EBITDA of the company, the PE ratio and such forth. You can simply just keep on adding and having multiple agents solve these questions for you. This is an incredible, powerful use case for financial analysis, due diligence and even client support. So let's get started now. What I want you guys to do is head over to the vector shift website which i'll leave a link to in the description below and click on the get started button simply sign up if you do not have an account or log in with your gmail account or your github account and once you have done so you can then proceed forward once you sign up or log in, you'll then be sent over to the main pipeline dashboard where you can manage various sorts of AI automations, chatbots, forums, as well as voice bots. You have a marketplace and you can access ready-made templates to various sorts of automations such as Gmail, blog articles, and so much more. You have a knowledge base and a file base where you can upload various sorts of file types and even upload various sorts of site data into the knowledge base. You have the ability to manage automations, chatbots, search engines, forums, voice bots, as well as now bulk jobs. So if you are interested in any of these, take a look at my recent videos in the description below, which will showcase how you can get started with all of these new updates. And the best part is you're going to be able to track various sorts of automations transformations and even analytics to various sorts of chatbots and automations that you create with vector shift so now what we're going to be doing in terms of testing out the bulk jobs feature is by starting off by creating a new pipeline from scratch so simply click on this addition sign and click on create a new pipeline and like i said before with the marketplace you can access it again over here where you can search through various sorts of categories like automating your gmail your productivity chatbots and so much more but in this case we're going to be creating a pipeline from scratch so click on this button over here which will take us over to the drag and drop ui and there we go now what i'm going to do right away is edit this name so you can simply click on this and just rename it to whatever you want in this case i've copied so many different automations that i've created so let's go ahead and simply rename this to bulk jobs and what we're going to do now is get started so what i want you to do first is by placing down an input node as well as an output node which is foundational for any workflow to be operational where queries come in and they're outputted through various sorts of ways whether that's a chatbot forum search bot or even voice bot and essentially what i'm going to be doing is creating a form 10k uh, annual report analysis bot which is going to essentially utilize the bulk job feature to help provide the required information that a client might be asking for and it's going to basically reference this form 10k uh, report of apple inc to basically provide the detailed information that is necessary to the client and this is an 80 page report that it will answer questions based off of as we feed this into the knowledge base to help solve as well as answer any sort of inquiry about apple's financial report 
Now this workflow is really simple to build. What we're going to be doing now is just simply placing down an open ALR language model node, but you can either place down many of these other provider nodes from Anthropic all the way to any open source model through Hogging Phase. So what we're going to do now is give this a system prompt where I'm telling it that it is an expert financial analyst where it can respond to questions based off the context. That leads me to the next part where we're going to simply place down a knowledge base node. Where we're going to be uploading this form 10k report into this context node that's going to be helping the AI agents answer questions based off of it. So what we can do is now create a new knowledge base for this form 10k report. So let's just name it form 10k and what we can do is either configure the chunk size as well as the configuration as to how it utilizes RAG within the context that we provide it. So you can tweak things by changing the embedding model, adding hybrid search, or even advanced document analysis, which will basically have LLM document analysis for advanced QA. And this is something that will get you more detailed answers. So let's keep this on and let's focus on creating this knowledge base now so we can either upload files which we're going to do right away i'm going to go ahead and upload the 10k form so simply go ahead and paste this in and once we have deposited this uh, knowledge or context in we can then click on finish and what you can also do is you can either even uh, add links to this so you can go back to this and choose uh, have the ability to scrape URLs from having it recursively search through the data and adding it to the knowledge base or simply just having it so that it could scrape through it on a singular basis. So this is the great flexibility that you get where you can have it recursively scrape the website on an hourly, daily, weekly, or even a monthly basis. So you get the most up-to-date knowledge fed into your knowledge base. But once you have finished configuring this, we can then go back to the pipeline and start finishing this off. So now that we have our knowledge base finally complete, we're gonna now connect all of these nodes. So to do so, we're gonna then add a couple of variables. To add variables, you can just simply click on insert variables. So let's go ahead and first create the first one, which is questions to connect the input node. Once we have done that, click in enter and then press this button, which will insert a variable. What you can do is change this to question to connect this to the input. Next, we're gonna go ahead and create one for context. So go ahead and write in context and then press on enter and then click insert variable to create the next component to connect the other nodes for the context. So once we have done that, we can just simply click on this. And once we have done that, we can then connect this to the knowledge base reader and then the query to the input node. And then the final uh, last node can be connected to the output node. And once you have done that, just simply click on deploy changes. And what you can do now is simply test this out on the right hand panel over here, or you can export this as a bulk job. So click on export. And what you can do is click on bulk jobs, which will help you export this as a new bulk job. So simply name this bulk jobs for the 10K form. And we can then click on create bulk job. And essentially, this is where you're going to be able to configure things like styling, such as the accent color, changing the logo, as well as the name of the bulk job. Now, what you can also do is you can configure the buttons on the top. And you can also have the ability to export this as a link or even embed it within your website so once you have configured things like the styling simply click on the export button open bulk jobs as a link but like i said you can even add authentication protect it with a password or even embed this into your website so, and there we go this is the bulk job uh, page that we have created based off the pipeline that we had inputted and this is where you can add things like more filters you can also add rows and you can even upload your data in this case we're going to go ahead and upload a couple of questions that will help us showcase how the ai agents can answer questions in bulk with the bulk job and this is with multiple agents working together in terms of answering questions 
So you can configure things once you upload data, such as a uh, column header, such as the question, as well as the bulk job input. So in this case, what we have it so is that it will reference this column, which is the questions that we have placed. And it's gonna then also preview the mapping over here. So we can then add the data, which we see all the way here. All the questions have been inputted within this user question. And what we can do now is just simply run the bulk job. So this is where it's going to start answering all of these questions by referencing our knowledge base. And you can see right away, the revenue is being provided for the last three years. The provided context does not contain anything about EBITDA. So it'll tell you if there's no information about it, it's not going to provide it. And it's going to describe the how the company makes money over here. It's going to answer things like where is the headquarter. And it's going to basically answer each of the jobs that we had basically requested to do and this is the capability of what the bulk job is capable of doing with vector shift there's so much more to this you can do this for various things like even coding where it can generate various code snippets for you and whatnot and it's going to be able to execute all of these different jobs for you in bulk and in simultaneous manner and this is why I really wanted to take a look at this new update because it is definitely a game changer. Now I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. I definitely plan on making more videos on this update. So definitely stay tuned. But that's basically it guys. Make sure you take a look at Vector Shift. Follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. Follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And thanks so much for the recent support and love you guys have been giving me. I really really appreciate it. Have a great day guys and spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.